Mikhail Gorbachev was born in Stavropol, Russia on March 2, 1931. His parents both worked in agriculture. Mikhail also worked in agriculture while attending school. His childhood was filled with difficult events. In 1933, a famine swept through much of Russia. Two of his sisters and an uncle died during the famine. In 1937, his grandfather was arrested for supporting the followers of Leon Trotsky. Later, in 1942, his town was occupied by the Germans in World War II. In 1950, Mikhail went to Moscow University, where he received a degree in law. He also met his wife, Raisa Titarenko, there and joined the Communist Party of the Soviet Union. After graduating in 1955, Gorbachev first worked as a member of the Communist Youth Organization. He became the leader of the division in Stavropol. In 1961, he was selected to be the delegate for Stavropol at the 22nd Communist Party Congress in Moscow. Over the next several years, Gorbachev became a leader in the Communist Party. First, in 1970, he became first secretary for the entire Stavropol territory. Then, in 1971, he moved to Moscow as the Secretary of Agriculture. Mikhail quickly became a force in Moscow, gaining influence with such powerful leaders as Yuri Andropov. In 1980, Gorbachev was selected to be a member of the Politburo, the most powerful group in the Communist Party. He was the youngest member of the Politburo. Within a few short years, Gorbachev gained considerable influence on the Politburo. After two aging leaders died in 1984 and 1985, the Communist Party wanted someone young and healthy to take over as leader. On March 11, 1985, Mikhail Gorbachev became the General Secretary of the Soviet Union. When Gorbachev took over as leader, the Soviet economy was struggling. He wanted to reform the economy as well as the government. In order to do this, he needed support, so he began to replace some of the older members of the Politburo with younger men who shared his vision. Gorbachev announced two main areas of reform. He called them Glasnost and Perestroika. Glasnost called for increased openness in government. It also allowed for some freedom of speech and less censorship. Perestroika was a restructuring of the economy and industry. It allowed for some private ownership and economic reforms to try and improve the Soviet economy. Gorbachev also made attempts to end the Cold War and improve relations with the West. He met with U.S. President Ronald Reagan and signed the NIF Treaty regarding nuclear weapons. He also removed Soviet troops from Afghanistan, ending the Soviet-Afghanistan War. Gorbachev also indicated that the Soviet Union would no longer interfere with other countries in Eastern Europe. This caused a major change in the world. Without the fear of the Soviet Union, countries such as Eastern Germany, Poland, and Hungary got rid of their communist governments. In 1989, the Berlin Wall in Germany was torn down. In August of 1991, communist hardliners who didn't agree with Gorbachev's reforms tried to take over the government. They kidnapped Gorbachev and said he was sick and couldn't rule. Soon, protests grew and Gorbachev was set free, but the damage to the government had been done. Although Gorbachev's reforms allowed for more freedom, many states used this freedom to protest and eventually claim independence from the Soviet Union. By the end of 1991, the Soviet Union had collapsed. On December 25, 1991, Gorbachev resigned as leader of the Soviet Union and the Union was split into 15 separate countries. In 1996, Gorbachev ran for president of Russia, but garnered less than 1% of the vote. 
he nevertheless remained active in public life as a speaker and as a member of various global and Russian think tanks. In 2006, he paired with Russian billionaire and former lawmaker Alexander Lebedev to purchase nearly half of the independent newspaper Novaya Gazeta, known for its willingness to challenge Kremlin policies. Although Gorbachev was at times critical of Russian leader Vladimir Putin, he supported the country's annexation, 2014, of Crimea during the Ukraine crisis. Gorbachev died at the Central Clinical Hospital in Moscow on 30th August 2022, at the age of 91. He died after a severe and prolonged illness, according to the hospital, having been under the continuous supervision of doctors since the beginning of 2020. Gorbachev was the longest-lived ruler of Russia in history, surpassing Alexander Kerensky and the nominal leader of the USSR, Vasily Kuznetsov, who both lived to be 89 years old.